What's up guys, it's Chris here. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video we're going to be talking about Spider-Man back in the MCU. At least for now. Now I'm going to read this article from SuperheroHype.com. It says, Breaking, Kevin Feige and Marvel will produce next Spider-Man movie. According to Variety, the stalemate between Sony and Walt Disney Pictures over Marvel Studios' involvement in the next Spider-Man movie has ended. The two studios released a joint statement saying that Kevin Feige will indeed produce the follow-up to the well-received Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home, alongside Sony's Amy Pascal. As part of the Spider-Man deal, will also appear in yet another future MCU film. The trade also noted that the third Spider-Man film from Marvel Studios is set for a July 16, 2021 re release officially adding another addition to the already crowded Phase 4 release slate. The release date puts the film in direct competition with Paramount's Mission Impossible 7, which opens on July 23rd, Marvel's Shang-Chi and The Legends of the Ten Rings opens on February 12th, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness opens on May 7th, and Thor Love and Thunder opens on November 5th. 2021, making 2021 the first year we get four MCU films. Now there's a quote from Kevin Feige I'm going to read. I am thrilled that Spidey's journey in the MCU will continue, and I and all of us at Marvel Studios are very excited that we get to keep working on it. Spider-Man is a powerful icon and hero whose story crosses all ages and audience around the globe. He also appears to be the only hero with the superpower to cross cinematic universes. So as Sony continues to develop their own Spideyverse, you never know what surprises the future might hold. Um, while Sony has two more Spider-Man movies in the works, John Watts, who directed Spider-Man Homecoming and Far From Home, has apparently not signed on yet for the two future movies. Watts is being courted for other projects, including reportedly for Marvel, Marvel Studios. So there is no guarantee the director will return for the third uh, Spider-Man movie, despite previously reporting that he has signed on for two more. Sony's upcoming slate includes the Venom sequel, starring Tom Hardy and directed by Andy Serkis, as well as Jared Leto's In the Can Morbius. A Craven the Hunter film and a spin off featuring Silver Saber and Black Cat. So, yeah, it looks like Spider Man is in the MCU for at least two more movies, and one will be his own solo Spider Man movie, and another maybe team up movie, maybe another Avengers. Maybe he'll be in the uh, new Doctor Strange movie. So, who knows? So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment down below. And tell me what you guys want to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.